Robin Payne, and I'm the Properties Director at the Denver Center. We are applying the signage to the set. There's a lot of beer signs that we had to put up, and they had to be acquired, and this is our day in the theater to put them up. I did a lot of shopping at the antique malls and eBay. This play takes place in Reading, Pennsylvania. So we were looking for local beers. And so the local beers are like Rolling Rock and Valley Forge beer is another long-standing beer in Pennsylvania. So we try to incorporate the Pennsylvania flair into the set. We also have to make sure that the signs will not fall down. We use screws, but we also stick them down with, it's kind of similar to the stuff that's on the back of your credit cards and it's kind of sticky and stretchy. And it's really strong, so we use that. And it comes off easily, so we can use things over and over again. Everything is, looks like peeling paint and disheveled, and the bar is also going to be that way. It's very hard for us because we have to make something look like it was made kind of poorly or cobbled together or repaired. So the art of distressing can be challenging because we always want to make things perfect. So the bar is sometimes harder to do than if you were trying to make a beautiful, complicated one. One of the seating elements in the play is an old car seat that's been turned into seating. And I was actually out in a field up in Brighton last weekend, digging it out of the mud. But the distressing is perfect on it. So we're like, yeah, we want this one because we don't have to paint into it and do anything to it. It's like done, ready to go.